Hey guys, it's Wednesday and this is what's in my bag, the most up-to-date one. Alright, but before that I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk about the evolution of bags. And what I mean by that is how many photography bags I actually have, which is kind of, kind of crazy. So I started out this tiny bag in the beginning when I had just one camera. And then I moved on to this bag, which I needed more space. And then I moved on to this bag because it was a National Geographic bag, so kind of cool. And then I moved on to this bag because I needed more room and hang a tripod. So I moved, this is the Cara bag. And then I moved on to the Big Design bag because it's so cool, messenger bag. You can carry it every day and take pictures. And then I moved on to the Big Design backpack, which is, can also carry more stuff. And that's kind of it which ended me in this bag right here, the Think Tank. And the reason why I have this bag is I can put a lot of shit in it, you know? Let me show you. Let's open that up and see. All right, what I got in here? I got camera gear when it comes to photo gear. I have the, the 72-200 Sony G lens, the it's F4. That's really, you know, they have a wide form. They have a zoom lens, that's kind of what I need. So that's one right there, let me put it back. It goes back neatly. I got a charger for the Osmo. I got three extra batteries here for the Osmo, including the one. I have four batteries total on the Osmo, including the one I have in the camera. All right, I got a one extra battery for the Phantom. Uh, Sony, Sony, charger and battery inside ready to charge. I got the remote control with the display inside. I got the charger for the I got the charger for the Phantom. Whoops. Alright. I got the charger for the Phantom. I got some odd little lens cap and lens hood for my lens. And also, in here, you can see right there, I put the Sony a7R2 with the 16 to 35 Zeiss lens, which pretty much fits right in here perfectly, you know. And right now I'm using it to record this video, so it's now, that's why it's not in the back, but it fits right in here. I got the Peak Design back for any charger cables, uh, cell phone charger, extra batteries, extra memory cards. I put it all in here and slide it in one of these things as well, right here. I got first aid kit, obviously, in, and the rain cover for the bag, that all fits in here. <coughs> I got my filters right there, my leaf filters and the leaf pouch. That can fit up to 10 filters. And the filters that I have, whoa, whoops, the filters that I have are the two hard edge, two soft edge, soft ND grads. That's two stops and three stops. And I have a, a polarizer and I have one six stop, one ten stop, one fifteen stop, neutral density filters. And that's all I use right here. All fits in this nice pouch. So that's kind of fun to have. And that also fits in here with the filter holder. You can see right here. Filter holder fits right in here. So this bag fits a lot of stuff, which is, I'm surprised. This is my favorite bag right now. It's a sink tank helipack, you know. So I love this bag completely. And I got these pockets here, right here. You can see that I can put other stuff in it. I have a cleaning cloth and remote control. And I got some kind of separators that I removed to make some room. I leave them in here. And I got the drone propellers going here. These are the only propellers I have, right here. They go in here, and the top one right here, I have, and then the top one I have a nice memory of my first drone accident, look at that. I keep them because I want to kind of remind myself to fly safe, but the drone's fine, everything's fine, it wasn't even that big of a drop, it was like maybe this much off the ground, but you know, gotta be careful with experimenting with it, and moving on. 
I open up the stuff pouch right here. I got my laptop, which is, you know, editing anything on the road. I got external hard drive. I use the lazy one. They're pretty small and very practical. I got a, a DJI stand so I can plug the album in case I want to put the camera on this. I'm just standing up on its own. I got, what else do we got in here? Hmm. I got two battery packs for my cell phone because my cell phone always dies in the cold. I have a little one that I carry with me and a big one in case I'm going away camping. This is all pretty much what I travel with. And I have a notebook with a little pen for ideas. You never know when inspiration strikes. I got the arm for the Osmo, you know. I haven't used that at all yet, but it's there. I got napkins, always important. I got a blower to clean the camera if there's any dust on my sensor. And let's see what else I have. I got the lens pen, an extra, you know, plasticky cover for the lens. The plastic cover, I got a, I got a flashlight for when I'm hiking at night. And um, what else? these plastic covers, actually, they're really, really cool because um, when I put the adapter on the lens, I just keep it on and I'll show you what I mean right here. Like this lens has got the adapter for the, for the filter on it and it's got the already the, so when I just remove this, it's got the lens adapter screwed down. I just clip the, clip the filter holder on, it's quick. Convenient, I don't have to fuss with many stuff. In. So I love these. These are also made from leaf. So that's kind of it, and that kind of fits everything I own so far. When I go traveling, I never leave the house with all this stuff. Also, what you don't see here that I actually also carry with me is a Sony A7R2 with a 16 to 35 Sony Sony's Ice lens that's f4, and I have the tripod, the three legged thing from Albert. So it's carbon fiber, it packs really small, it's good for travel. That brings me to my final thing is what I use to record video when, when I'm behind the scenes. It's, I use the Osmo and when I, you guys saw the unboxing when I bought it, but I've added a few things to it. I've added the, the Rode mic, uh, Video Micro Pro, and it's really convenient, it's very small, just plugs in, hangs right off the arm here. And I can, you know, pretty much use it uses the battery of the Osmo so, or any camera, so you don't have to power it with batteries. I plug in my phone to see what I'm recording. I, I added the, the Z axis for even more stability, you know. And it's kind of what I use to record videos. So it's carrying this thing around can be a bit heavy, so I tend to take a break in between clips, you know, but I'm constantly doing this, you know. But, uh, the audio that you're hearing right now too, it comes from the same mic because I carry an extra mic as well just in case one of the mics breaks and I don't have an extra one, I would be crazy, you know. Because the mic on this, on the Osmo is not the best, you need an external mic. And I found this was the best mic so far to use. You know, if you guys have any recommendations about mics to use externally on cameras, leave me a comment in the description. And let me know if you make videos, what do you use to vlog? What's your favorite camera? Because I've been kind of looking for something a bit more... Because when I added all these gears around, like adding all this setup, it became quite heavy, you know? So I, I'm just looking maybe for a camera that has 5-axis stabilization, but still at an effective cost. I'm not going to buy another Sony A7 or A7R or any of the A7 model just so I can have a 5-axis stabilization. So just leave me a comment in the description which camera do you recommend that could be used. That you can plug an external mic to and comes in with the built-in screen that you can pretty much flip around. Because I've looked at many choices and it's really difficult to pick one, you know. So let me know. So that's kind of it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And uh, I'll probably do another video this week very, very soon. Somewhere 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 hopefully very very nice and now i gotta wonder what to do about all these bags huh?